Hello everyone, I'm Ava and welcome back to Delightful Dolls. Today I have another doll clothes tutorial for all of you because I do know that you guys like seeing how to make miniature clothes for your dolls. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make a doll jean skirt and a cute little top to go with it. So let's just get right on with the tutorial. So starting off by taking some stretchy denim material, I'm going to cut a piece that is one and a half inches so that the stretchy side stretches that way, if that makes sense, by two inches. Then I'm just gonna cut that out. Then I cut another piece out from this denim fabric that is one and three quarter inches. Again, going with the stretch here by two inches. And then I cut that out as well. So now that we have these two denim pieces, you can see that one is a little bit wider than the other. And basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these pieces good side to good side, line up the edges, and then sew a stitch across there. So personally, I'm using my sewing machine and I'm just going to sew a stitch right across here. When I start, I go forwards and back a little bit first. To lock the stitch and then sew across and lock it again at the end so now we have a piece that looks something like this and then we have a seam right here and you might notice that the seam is a little off centered but it is supposed to be like this because the buttons are going to go over on this side so because this is going to be the center of the skirt i'm just going to take my pencil and mark it so we don't forget. So that should be about the center of the skirt. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna mark half an inch on both sides from that center dot. Then from those lines, I'm just gonna kind of make a curve down all the way to the sides. To mark pockets because yes, this skirt is gonna have real working pockets. Now, when you mark the pockets, you do wanna keep in mind that some of the top part will be taken off because we are going to sew on another piece. And also some from the side will also be taken off. So do keep that in mind when you're making your pockets. So I'm gonna cut out this shape. I am gonna cut a little bit inside of the line we just marked though, because I will be folding over the edge. Then to make sure both pockets are equal, I'm just gonna fold this over so I can see where to cut to make the other pocket the same. So now to fold over the edges, you can either fold them over and sew them down, or I am personally gonna use some fabric glue because I just find it's a lot easier. And I only fold over the smallest bit of fabric. And just so you know what the size of the pockets are once they're all folded over, they're about one inch long by a half an inch. Then I cut two little squares of the same fabric that I'm going to glue behind the pockets like so. Now, once again, with that same fabric, I'm gonna be cutting two pieces that are one and three quarter inches along the stretchy side by two inches and cut that out. So now I'm gonna take one of these pieces and place it good side to good side on this skirt. Line up the raw edge here, and I'm going to sew across here. Then I repeat that on the other side with this other piece, lining it up good side to good side on the raw edge and then sewing across there. Now the skirt should look something like this. And a little tip, if you wanna have the skirt fitted really well, when you sew these two pieces together, kind of make a curve so that it's cinched in more at the waist so that the skirt will look a little bit better on the doll. So that's what I'm gonna go do right now is I'm going to just kind of sew this piece together one more time and this time start out a little bit farther at the top and then come in closer at the bottom so that it'll be a little bit tighter at the waist. Then I cut another denim piece that is the length of our skirt. 
by one inch. And just ignore this little seam here. I didn't actually have enough fabric, so I had to sew two pieces together. So um, you don't need that seam. You could just have one long piece of fabric. I just had to do that because I ran out. But basically what I'm gonna do is fold this piece in half so the bad side is on the inside. Then I'm going to line up the raw edges on here to the raw edges on the skirt. And then I'm going to just sew along that edge. So now that we sewed that piece on, the skirt should look like this. Then I'm gonna place the skirt on the doll inside out and mark in the back where I need to sew the skirt together. So now that I have that marked, I'll fold it in half so the good side's on the inside and then sew on that line. Now that I sew that up, I'm just going to cut off the excess fabric and flip it inside out. I also did make sure to try it on the doll a couple times just to make sure that it is sewed perfectly before I do flip it inside out. If you use stretchy denim material like I did, it should have just enough stretch to slip on to a doll. If your fabric isn't stretchy enough, you could always just use Velcro in the back as well. Personally, for my skirt, I want to make some pockets on the back. So I'm just going to kind of draw out a pocket shape. And then I'm just going to cut that out a little bit around it. Then I cut out another one. Then using some fabric glue, I'm just going to fold over the edges. So now I'm just going to glue the outer edge of the pockets and place them on the back of the skirt so the dolls have little back pockets on the skirt. For the front of the skirt, I wanna add some buttons. I have this little nail art thing that I got off Amazon that comes with a bunch of different silver and gold pieces that you'd use for nail art, but there are all these little circular shaped ones that I like to use for little doll buttons. So I'm just gonna glue some of these little nail art pieces onto the skirt. Then to make some little belt loops for the skirt, I'm just cutting some small strips, glue over the edges. And then I glue them to the skirt This is completely optional, but I'm personally gonna take some gold acrylic paint and then using a toothpick, I'm just going to kind of draw on little stitches to look like it was stitched around the pockets. And I'm also gonna make some little gold stitches on the back pockets as well. to make this super cute and realistic skirt for your dolls that do have real working pockets. And I think it would only make sense to make a really cute top to go with it. So that's what we're gonna go do next. So to make the top, I'm taking this very stretchy white fabric and I'm gonna mark a piece that is four inches by one and a half inches. And then I'm just gonna cut that out. Then I'm going to glue and fold over one of the edges. Of course you could sew this. I just find this fabric is really hard to sew. So I'm just gonna use some fabric glue. Then on the other edge, I'm gonna make a little mark in the center of the piece of fabric. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn that into an upside down triangle shape like that. Then I'm gonna come down again like this from that point on both sides to make kind of like a M shape and then just make a line to the edge. And then I'm just gonna cut that out. So it should look something like this. Then I'm just gonna use my fabric glue to glue over the edges. Again, you could try to sew this, 
but it's kind of difficult and I would just honestly recommend using fabric glue. So now everything has a nice and clean edge. What I'm basically going to do next is I found this piece of lace that I'm basically going to put over this top and then basically I'm just going to flip it over. I'm basically going to fold over all of the lace into the back and glue it down, except don't fold down the bottom part. So it should look something like this. If you didn't tell, I actually did expand this a little bit and make it a little bit bigger. So when you originally cut the piece, make sure to make that five and a half inches instead. The fabric still does have a little bit of stretch to it, but definitely lost a lot of it. Then I'm taking some Velcro. I'm going to glue, and of course you could sew as well, one piece to the front on one side, and then another piece on the back on the other side. So what you can do to make sure that the top fits perfectly is you can actually glue the Velcro on while you have the doll's top on so you can make sure that it'll fit perfectly. And lastly, I'm going to take some very thin elastic cording and glue it at the points on the top in the front here. And then pull them over the doll's shoulder and glue them in the back. Here is the final completed outfit. I think it is so, so cute, and I hope you guys think so too. I hope you guys understood me trying to give instructions on how to make this. Sometimes I just like suck at trying to explain what I'm doing. So hopefully you could also just tell by just watching. I think this is such a cute outfit. I know it is kind of summery and summer is kind of over now, unfortunately, but I still think it's super cute. And you know, your dolls can still wear it for the last couple days of summer that we do have. From the back, the top doesn't look too, too neat, but I love how the skirt looks with the pockets. And I'm sure if you had some better sewing skills, you could make it look a lot nicer than how I did. <laughs> I really hope you all did enjoy the video and make sure to let me know if you wanna see more doll clothing tutorials in the future on my channel. Now, before we end today's video, the shout outs for today go to Sunset Safari, Claire Queen and Cutie Pie. Thank you so, so much for supporting my channel. And remember, if you want a shout out, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell and comment down below with the hashtag DD Squad, and you'll have a chance of getting a shout out in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at underscore delightful dolls. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye. Take you there Back to when we felt like this was forever Can I